Hey there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day. So funny story, this is actually the second card that I made with this set. The first one I thought I was recording, but it turns out I wasn't because my husband had bought me a new memory card and apparently you have to format those <laughs> before you can actually start recording. So I will show you what I made in the end, but um, yeah, I didn't get a chance to, to film that one. So what I've started off with is some perfectly plaid rainbow paper. This is the six by six paper. And I am also using my magic color slider die, just one piece from that. And I ran that through my Sizzix Sidekick. I am using the screen time set from Lawn Fawn today. Such a cute set. So glad I'm finally getting a chance to use it because I love this set, so cute. And I am inking it up with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and I am stamping that onto some Express It cardstock. Um, I've said this a thousand times, it's my favorite for Copic coloring. So I plan to obviously do some Copic coloring. So I've got a couple of cell phones and some sentiments and the girl and the boy. I am doing some super simple Copic coloring. This is E00. Most of the colors I will put up on the screen as best I can. And this is, um, well, obviously, there you go, E11. And I'm just adding a little bit of shadowing because these images are so small, you almost don't need to add a whole lot of shadowing at all. Two colors, probably max, uh, if you're you know, really wanting to get in depth. For their cheeks, I'm using R11. And these are actually Copic colors that I'd already ha had out once before for the first card that I made. I'm using V12 and V15 for her shirt. And then I'm going to move on to her jeans, which I am using B45 and B97. I'm gonna leave their little socks white. My plan was to make this look a little bit like a scene, not 100%, obviously, but a little bit like a scene in the oval that I cut out was supposed to look a little bit like a rug. Clearly it doesn't, it looks like they're just floating on those ovals, but it's, um, it's okay, I think it looks cute. So for his jeans, I used B37 and B39. And then for his shirt, I'm going to use YG01 and YG05. And it's funny, I look at this and I'm like, oh, it looks like a couple of old people since I haven't colored their hair yet. <laughs> Seriously, this is probably gonna be my husband and I, uh, but the way our kids are just stressing us out. <laughs> but <laughs> I will color their hair. <laughs> I am using I'm gonna have to put that down first. Uh, I think it was E E37 and E49, just for the darker parts of the hair. And then for her hair, I'm gonna use a different color combination. I'm using E99, and I believe I'm gonna go back and use that E3, E37. And I'm doing a stippling effect. Since it's curly hair, I figured it would be kind of cute to add just little circles, and I'm just going straight up and down. And then I'll go back over that with the E99. And then I'll color the cell phones. So those are simple. Just using the R11 to make it look like a pink phone, along with the C5 on top. And then for the boy's phone, I'm using C5 and C7. So I'll use C5 on top and C7 on the bottom. And then I will grab out those coordinating dies and get those taped on with some washi tape. I use these Marietta magnets. I've talked about them before. I can cut them down and just stick them in with the packaging so that I can customize what size I might need for the dies that I use. And um, they're pretty inexpensive, so I will list those down below. And then I'll just run those through my Sizzix Sidekick until I have all those images cut out. All right, so what you don't see, well, actually, if you look up in the top left corner, my phone is on. I am FaceTiming with my sister. I'm telling you, we had had a rough day yesterday. I won't go into details, but we just had a rough day. And my sister, it's like she knows. And so she called and instantly, with a silly story, just made me laugh. And she's just one of the few people who can really make me do that. <laughs> uh, usually when I just want to be left alone, she does not allow so um and i'm okay with that honestly you know it's, you think you want to be left alone and sometimes you just you don't 
So I'm FaceTiming her this whole time I am making this card, and I'm finding, I mean, I find joy in making the cards anyway, uh, but because we'd had such a rough night the night before, I am finding so much more joy, and I'm, I'm thankful. So if you are watching, Melanie, you are an amazing sister, so there it is. All right, I've glued things down with my liquid glue, and now I'm going to trim down the top. I thought I was going to be able to trim just a small amount around the whole perimeter of this card, but when it came down to it, it would have cut off too much of that. Because originally I thought, well, I want to have a white border on my card base, but it just would have cut too much off. So I'll start adhering down the rest of my pieces. I'm just starting to place things to kind of see where I want them. And I'll place down the little boy. Like I said, those are supposed to look like rugs. Clearly they don't. <laughs> and I'll place down the little girl. And then I'm gonna back all of those little speech bubbles because it's supposed to look like they're texting each other. I'm gonna back those with some foam tape. And then when I have all of those backed with that foam tape, I'll start taking off the backing paper and I will adhere that down to the card front. I like it because he's saying a little text to say I miss you and then she's texting you're the best and then the little heart emoji which is something that my husband and I would do, I know. Silly, but. And then I'm just taping down their little cell phones. And I thought this would potentially finish off the card, just attaching this to the white card base, but it doesn't. I won't show it to you, but I will. I'll show you in the end here when I go back over the card. It, I know it needed something. Sometimes you just have to walk away and come back and so what I did is I put some glossy accents over their speech bubbles and then I put a few glossy accents down as dots and then I put some faux white stitching with a Unibel, Uniball gel pen and here's the card that I made originally this is supposed to be inspired by the Jennifer McGuire video that's out I will have that listed down below but uh, it's supposed to be like a little shadow box and I just thought that was fun it was a cute card I mean it still is but the making of it was pretty cool too and so if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by.